Welcome to the Conval User Interface Screencast, a getting started video out of the Conval College online training series. Hello, I'm Hank Hinson. The Conval User Interface consists of this main view, the main window. It's also called main window if you look at the menu bar and various modules. And one can navigate between those modules at any given point in time. In this case, uh, the user has three modules open, substance calculation, differential pressure, and control valve. And if you click on control valve, you will see that one can even have multiple cases open. In this case, they have two cases open. That means the user interface allows the user to open up multiple calculations and multiple cases for even for within a given module. If one clicks on a given module, for example, the control valve module, we'll see different views. You have the main view where the calculation is. It's called the calculation mask. You have a tree view, you have a help information view, and you have error message views. Except for the main calculation module, they all can all be hidden. For example, I can hide the tree view, I can hide the error message view, and I can hide the help level. One can use that if you're running out of real estate. So let's bring them all back. On the tree view, you can actually toggle between a sectional view and a total calculation overview. The most popular one these days, and also it's the default, is this sectional view. So you can move between sections using the tree as well as you have previous page, next page buttons to bring you from one to another level. And you can see you will, it will scroll around. On the help information view, you have two ways. You can actually use it to help view. That means if you're clicking on a parameter, you get the dynamic help. While if you click on the information view, you get a summary of the calculation. The error messages are error messages on the left and hyperlinks on the right. It can best be demonstrated by taking a new calculation. You will see that uh, the hyperlinks on the right are dynamically. It's asking for the medium. It brings me to the medium. I enter water and you will see on the bottom that information has disappeared. The error messages, they can be turned off and on and they are the dynamic messages that are listed and you will see a lot of those messages when the information is not being filled in, while if you have a complete calculation, they will this. So let's switch, for example, to a DP calculation and go to the main window. It's important to view that the calculation mass consists of parameters of characteristics. And if you look at one, you have a caption called operating pressure. You have a symbol called P1. You get a value. You get the units of measure, and even you get uh, sometimes a drop down. In this case, it says accept vapor pressure because if you click on it, it will actually Conval will calculate to be on the vapor line for a given temperature what should be the vapor pressure. So one can accept it, yes or no. Parameters have different icons. In this case, I have a looked up icon. In the case of the vapor pressure, you see a calculation, a calculation icon. It's also important that you can add notes. You click uh, right mouse click, add a note F8. You can enter. This is from XYZ. If you want to identify where the information is coming from. You see a paperclip appears. And by the way, this paperclip appears not only in the display, but also in the print preview. In other words, what you see is what you get. 
A special attention to this calculator icon. If you click on it, a pop-up window will appear. It's called a dependency star chart and which allows you to express this uh, density in this case in function, say, of operating temperature. When clicking the update button, it will actually create a one-dimensional or a two-dimensional. In this case, you will see density and function of operating temperature and you see that uh, you're switching from liquid to uh, to gas and you see a big change. Probably as a last item, um, if you look at the control valve calculation mask and I will select this one, you will see very extensive characteristics. So when you click the characteristic button, the uh, extensive characteristic with four quadrants will appear. They're actually the foundation of Conval. It's a very important element to analyze and simulate and of course the details of the use of those graphics uh, as well as the ruler values. So that's a, another important element of the user interface. And this concludes this screencast. Thanks for watching Conval College.